I hope you enjoy this story as much as I do. I have left out many details, some quite interesting, in order to keep the video from being too long. In this part, I would like to propose an interpretation of the myth. Let us take the point of view that the myth is really about the soul in man. What happens when it wakes up in the microcosmos and how it starts to organize its surroundings. You could also call it the higher self, the observer, the real eye, the third eye, or the witness. Perhaps this myth is not so much talking about how humanity came to be created, but more about how the gods learned to use the material world to strengthen themselves. In the beginning, there is only darkness with still water and empty sky. The human psychology is chaotic and characterized by thought after thought without connection to each other. Emotions follow thoughts, follow perceptions. God within is absent. Then somehow or other, the higher self wakes up and sees all this. It wants to create something in the chaotic and unpredictable human psychology that will support itself. It wants to create, as the text says, beings who will honor their creator and remember the days. This is the purpose of all of the creation. First of all, the earth is created. The higher self needs to find a firm place to stand somewhere in the waters of imagination in the midst of these chaotic thoughts. Then it can begin to create something that will mirror itself. Then the mountains are created. Some parts of the earth are closer to heaven. All thoughts and emotions are not the same. Some are closer to the higher self, some further away. Then the animals are created. These are perhaps the many thoughts, feelings, and perceptions that man is subject to. However, the speech of the animals is unrecognizable to the gods. They are not able to communicate with the higher self. We cannot think or feel our way out of the darkness. Something more is needed. The mud man is indeed a man and does indeed speak, but without knowledge. The higher self appears for a flash, but, like the mud man, dissolves as quickly as it came. Some kind of knowledge or methodical approach is needed to prolong it. With the stick people we have speech and language, but there is nothing in their hearts and nothing in their minds. To support the higher self, we need the total focus of heart and mind. They have speech and the possibility to communicate with the higher self, but without the whole participation of heart and mind, it cannot succeed. The stick people do not remember their creator. Then come the episodes of the hero twins. When I first read the Popol Vuh, I could not understand why they did not finish the story of creating humanity, but instead took a long interlude to tell the stories of the hero twins, and only then returned to the creation. I think their story represents a necessary part of the higher self organizing the microcosmos. The function of the hero twins seems to be to restrict the actions of the animal lower self so that the higher self is not cut off as soon as it appears. By animal self, I do not necessarily mean the needs of food, clothing, shelter, and sex. Instead, it is a kind of psychological comfort zone, a denial of the unknown, and clinging to knowing, a force that pushes us involuntarily into past experiences or future expectations, instead of the reality of the present moment. 
The actions of the hero twins take place during the time of the stick people, and by the time humanity is created, the animal lower self has been relegated to a subsidiary and not a dominant role. Finally, the first four men and women are created. They do honor the gods and remember their days. The higher self will be able to support itself with these beings. At last, the higher self is able to openly reveal itself and see its reflection in the material world. The picture is complete. Before concluding, I would like to draw your attention to one other point. There is an ancient saying, one day for nature is a breath for man. The well-known Bible story of creation takes six days. However, there is no indication of the time span of the Popol Vuh creation. So, if we take the point of view that creation is something that happens inside of us, how long will it take? Perhaps it all happens within a few breaths. Perhaps this creation can be repeated many times every day.